Since the directions ask us to complete the table, we're going to have to plug all of the x values in the table into the equation and solve for the corresponding y values. So we're arbitrarily just going to start with x equal to 0 because it's an easy value for x. Now we're going to go ahead and solve for y. So we get 1 third y equal to 1 fourth. Just multiply both sides by 3. And you get y equal to 3 fourths. Now we're going to plug that in for the y value that corresponds to x equal to 0. Now we're going to have to pick another value for x. We can just pick x equal to 2. That might be easy. So now we're going to plug x equal to 2 in, and we're going to go ahead and solve for y. We're going to start off by multiplying by the LCD, which in this case is 12. That should get rid of the fractions on both sides of the equation. Now we get 12 plus 4y equal to 3. Subtract the 12 over. Divide by the 4, and you get y equal to negative 9 fourths. And that's going to correspond with x equal to 2 in the table, as you're about to see. And we're not going to go through all of them in this example, but I'll go ahead and fill in the table for you. You can do that on your own time. Now the next thing in the directions is to graph the line. So these are all ordered pairs in the table. So we're just going to pick a couple points because you only need two to graph a line. We're going to pick 0 and 3 fourths. That's one of the ordered pairs in the table. And then we're going to pick 1 and negative 3 fourths because that's another point in the table. And that's all you need to graph the line is two points. So that's it.